Hello beautifuls, this video is all about my healthy habits that I have implemented into my life that makes my life feel so much more fulfilled and positive, so I really hope you guys enjoy it. How to reach for the city lines This ain't where I belong Ain't looking me more than what I become I've been running these Looking for something Digging deep Since nine What I thought was gone back to my channel i hope you're all amazing i'm millie rose if you're new here please subscribe join the rosie gang also follow me on instagram at millie rose wellness because that is where i really try and post content about living a healthy life motivation healthy habits and of course wellness anyway let's get on to this video so we're gonna jump straight into it with my first healthy habit and that is simply just waking up earlier my first healthy habit is wake up early oh, it's currently and i'm getting the daily bread so i don't wake up at 5 a.m every single morning but i truly do believe that waking up at 5 a.m is so amazing for starting your day off i mean you have three extra hours over everyone else really to get stuff done waking up at 5 a.m is not realistic for everyone because i know how it feels at 5 a.m to just want to snooze that alarm here's my brother waking up early he's got his chalky milks super nutritious <laughs> actually is really good for you um and he's going to work now how do you feel about waking up earlier Great, I feel fantastic. Fantastic. Out of bed, ready to go to work. Ready to go to work. It's a lifestyle. But just waking up 6, 6.30 is so important for starting your day off really well. And then you have so many extra hours to get things done throughout the day. Number two healthy habits, make yourself feel uncomfortable or make a step outside of your comfort zone. In order to see change, something needs to change. Remember, nothing changes if nothing changes. One of my favorite quotes, your brain works as a reward system. So something for me where I'm stepping outside my comfort zone might be going on a 2K run every day for one week. It is stepping outside my comfort zone, really gonna challenge my mindset, but everyone's mind works as a reward system. If you are doing that 2K run every day, you are rewarding your brain and you'll start to feel really good about yourself because you're doing something good for yourself. And then you wanna keep feeding your brain with those rewards so you'll keep doing little things in your life to make a difference. So that's the most important. Step outside your comfort zone and do something positive to see that change. Healthy habit number three is journaling and writing a to-do list every single morning. So I find writing to-do lists keeps me so much more accountable all day for whatever I need to do. So just writing down the things I wanna get done throughout the day and then being able to just tick them off feels so good. And then also journaling is such an amazing habit to start because writing down things you are grateful for every day I find is so important for your mental health and positivity as well. Just looking up journal prompts on Google and honestly just journaling your day is really important. You're gonna hate me for this because it's so cliche but that is literally just making your bed. Making your bed and organizing your room so important in the mornings. I'm not gonna lie to you, this does not happen all the time. I'm not very good at making my bed, nor am I very good at keeping my room clean. But I know when I do make my bed, I, it sets me up for the day. I know when my bed is made that I'm ready to start the day. I am so bad at making my bed. I have gotten better, I have gotten better, and I did set myself some little tasks every now and then to like, this week I'm gonna make my bed every single day. It's so easy to make your bed, like it takes two minutes, but it's just such a mental thing as well to make your bed. Anyway, so let's make the bed. Burn all bridges, all I know, I got lost. So 
I definitely think implementing making your bed every day is such an important habit. It's such an easy one, but it's such a mental discipline one as well. Breakfast. Eat breakfast, guys. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Now I'm going to have some breakfast. So I just got back from my walk. We were out for like two hours. Anyway, I'm back. So I'm gonna have breakfast in saying this breakfast is the most important meal of the day I always try to have a nutritious breakfast in the morning because I feel like if I don't eat breakfast I get really hungry towards lunch and I get really tired so I always have a very nutritious breakfast I usually have oats if I just eat my breakfast start my day off with a healthy nutritious meal I feel so much better throughout the whole day with more energy and therefore I am more happy as well cliche but drink more water Drink more water. It's so important to always stay hydrated. I keep this pump bottle wherever I am, all the time, always next to me. So whenever I'm thirsty, I can just have a sip and it's always with me. It's so important for your overall well-being. Create more time for yourself. This is so important. I find that sometimes I just need a break and I just need time to myself. So you don't always have to be with your friends. You don't always have to be socializing or on your phone. Reining it back, creating more time for yourself to really just sit in your own thoughts. So that could be through going on a walk and not listening to a podcast, not listening to music, just literally sitting there in your own thoughts is so important. I find my thoughts are so much more valuable, especially now I'm in lockdown. So I'm really learning the skill of spending more time with myself alone to just really create new ideas. I find it really, really important. Number eight, eat healthier. It's so cliche, but it's it's the probably the most important one out of all of this. So for lunch today, I am having a roll. I'm just gonna have like a salad roll. That's my tip. Simply just eating healthier, getting your greens in. I love the fridge open. If you want to know what annoys me most, it's a beeping fridge. Anyway, so I just like to get in all my greens, vegetables, carbs, and proteins because it's all really important for a nutritious diet. When you are fueled with nutritious foods, your brain works better, your body feels better, you feel better. I know I definitely feel better when I eat healthy foods because sometimes I don't always eat healthy and that's so normal to not always eat healthy but I know how bad I feel after it and I'm like oh I just don't feel good like I just feel gross altogether my skin feels gross obviously with balance of every food because I can't live without chocolate or lollies I can't do it, I can't do it. Number nine, document your memories. This one might seem really weird, but I love documenting my memories. Anyone else go back on their TikTok drafts all the time or your Snapchat memories or your photos? I go through at least one of them every single day because it makes me so happy. Also, writing things down, like writing things down in a diary to look back on just makes me so happy. Even if you are having a down day, you get to look back on other happier times and you're like, oh yeah, that is my life as well. Get off your phone and live in the moment. Learning the practice of living in the moment has changed my mindset so much. I, I found I was really addicted to my phone and Snapchat and I was like replying to snaps every two minutes and like it's funny because I just don't get snapchat anymore like replying with a picture of I know a wall to 20 different people every two minutes of the day or like a photo of half of your face every two minutes all day just makes no sense to me now so I was like I really need to make a change because I was on a holiday right and I just found I was on my phone the whole time and I was just missing out on so many valuable moments in that holiday and I was like, I need to make a change. So I deleted Snapchat and I was like, I'm just going to delete it all together. 
But I only ended up deleting it for two weeks because I found, you know what, I'm losing connections with all my friends. And that's really important to stay connected with all your friends. But deleting it was the best thing I ever did just for two weeks because now I'm not addicted to it. I just use it when I want to message someone or I want to keep up to date with my friends. I know it's so simple, but just going to bed earlier and getting more sleep is so important. I think the most important thing out of all of this is sleep. Like sleep is so important for your mental health and brain function. I am not merely without my sleep. Like I will just fall asleep. Like I used to fall asleep in class, especially when I was going through really hard training blocks. I would just fall asleep in class. I haven't always been a very good sleeper. Like. I went through stages where my anxiety was really bad where I was going to sleep at like midnight because I couldn't get to sleep and then waking up at 4.30am so I know how like detrimental that was for my health so now the most important thing on my priority list is sleeping a healthy amount of hours because it's so important for myself and my brain function anyway i hope you guys really enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up like subscribe and comment let me know if you guys like this video if you want any more videos like this explaining healthy habits that i've implemented into my life be sure to let me know follow me on instagram at millie rose underscore wellness and i will see you guys in another video bye guys stay rosy